And um, hi, everyone. My name is Johan, and I am part of the team at Pond. I want to welcome you to today's vendor demo session with Danielle from Memory Fox. Uh, before I turn it over to her, I wanted to quickly remind everyone that if you're interested in learning more about this solution, we encourage you to send Danielle a message through Pond. You can do this by logging onto your account, navigating to the Memory Fox provider page, and then clicking send message. From there, you can get your questions answered or request a one-on-one -on -one meeting. And as a reminder, we'll put Pond credits in your account for every meeting arranged through the platform. Without further ado, let me turn it over to Danielle for the demo. Thank you. And thank you everyone for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about um, Memory Fox. Super excited to share it with all of you. Um, Memory Fox is a content collection and management tool for nonprofits to help with your storytelling. Um, so to kick us off, I wanted to share just a quick video that kind of highlights some of those videos that we've collected and seen our nonprofit partners collect from their community um, to give you a high level to get going. So I'm going to share my screen. Hopefully it works okay. We did test this. So, all right. You can see it okay, yeah? Okay. Maybe I can only do small things. But my small things might join small things other people do. And together they could grow to something big. Something really big. We are here getting ready for the food box distribution. Say hello, everybody. Get involved. Support the United Way. They're making lives better. To all our brave service members, thank you for your service and your sacrifice. Your donation for our washer and dryer makes such a huge difference to getting all of our clothes clean for our kids. For the grant to allow our preschoolers to lessons. Thank you. We've all been affected by cancer. I lost both my parents to cancer. But I had to remember how many people I had motivated me. And because of you all, I am still in nursing school. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And go all the way around the world so we can be kind again. And again, and again, the end. Well, it's just a quick little video that we like to share sometimes that highlights some of the really impactful stories that have been collected through our platform. I don't know about you, but it gets me every time. But as we've learned, you know, video is really the most impactful kind of storytelling. So we've made it super easy for you to collect and share these kind of stories from your community. And I'm really excited to show you how. So I'm going to pop over to my um, presentation here and get going. So let's get into presenter mode. So hopefully you can see my screen here. Um, you know, collecting, capturing stories from your community is hard and make it easy. Okay, so just a tiny bit of background about Memory Fox, because I would be remiss not to sell our, tell our story a little bit as a storytelling organization. Um, but Memory Fox actually initially started as an individual storytelling platform, and we were using it as a way to collect stories from um, the pre-dementia community. We were working in nursing homes, and we were having them tell stories about pictures and engage to tell stories about photos from their life. Um, you can hit record on a photo and then families could curate stories that way as well. And that's where the memory side of Memory Fox comes from. But we pivoted to a community storytelling platform alongside our local United Way in Buffalo, New York, which is where we're headquartered. Um, and it was really around these three main reasons, which was, you know, collecting content from their community was really tough. I'm sure you're all familiar with United Way, but if you're not, you know, they serve a lot of different nonprofits in Western New York and getting everyone to really share those proof of impact videos for all the incredible work that they were doing was really difficult. Um, organizing it on the back end, so just having one location where all that content lives, a library where it's all stored and organized and accessible. Um, and lastly, just having a more efficient and modern way to tell their story, so what to do with that content. Um, and we serve all nonprofits, so as a veteran, um, a veteran organization, mission is really important to us. And that's something that we wanted to continue to do as an organization. So all of our customers are mission-driven organizations and nonprofits, 501c3s. And you know, I think that's important because really as we continue to make improvements to our platform and build it out, we really do so along, alongside the feedback that we get from other nonprofits. And we're building a community there as well of resources, um, and webinars and stuff like that, that all of our customers and anyone who's really wanting to connect can always participate in. So whose story are we collecting? So 
you know, this varies for each organization, of course, but a lot of times it's your clients, your volunteers, your donors, why people donated internally, that's your staff, the followers, the people that care about your organization. So there's so many different people that you can collect stories from. And that's a super important piece of the puzzle, right? Is identifying who in your organization that you want to, whose story you really want to tell. And what do we do with that content, right? So, and why are we collecting these stories? Um, I think the biggest one is just being able to demonstrate your impact. You know, everyone gets super caught up in the work. And I know a lot of people probably here on this very call wear a lot of hats. So it's super easy to sometimes get caught up in that mission and doing all the really important work that you're doing that sometimes collecting stories and pictures and videos can be a secondhand thing, right? So we tried to make it super easy for you to be able to actually make it part of your process so you can demonstrate that impact, highlight all your programs and your inclusion efforts, build that trust and rapport with your community, make them feel like when they're giving to your organization, they can see where that money's going. Um, increase participation in the actual programs, showing people what it's like to benefit from your organization so that they participate or share with someone else that they think would benefit. So, so many different things that you can do with this content um, to really continue to build and share your mission. And in terms of use cases, you know, we can deep dive into that um, on a call at another time. If you want to set up some time with us, we love meeting with our organizations to talk about storytelling goals and doing a deep dive into how we can really help. Um, but there's also a lot of use cases on our website for, from a high level, you know, from a marketing perspective, um, just getting content to show your mission in action, um, actual videos, pictures, testimonials, so that you can share as a marketing professional with, with your community. Um, from a business development standpoint, that's impact reports, um, collecting testimonials, thank you videos, so you can actually have um, content that represents what you're doing. Um, human resources, I always think this is an interesting one because um, this can sometimes fall on the wayside, but really collecting internal staff stories even um, to show what it's like to work for your organization, to recruit, and also sometimes just work as an archive of your process. So as you're going along, you can see how far your organization has come because you know as you're building your mission, I'm sure we're all learning so much. So getting testimonials from the real people in your organization doing the work and keeping that internally is super helpful. And then from a leadership standpoint, those board reports, those annual reports, being able to humanize them with actual stories. Um, numbers are obviously really important, but when it comes down to it, um, you know, I'm sure you've all heard this many times, but people remember how you made them feel. So that content that you share, those stories, the pictures, the videos where you're humanizing the mission and showing people the real work, um, that's what really lands. So let's get into it. Um, the layout of Memory Fox is collect, organize, and share. So the left side, what you see here is what we call the storyteller side of the journey. And this is where you're creating guided content collection campaigns, sharing them with your community, however you're connecting with them via a QR code or a link. And it takes them right to the secure web app and gives them a space to share with your organization. And I'll show you what that looks like in a second here. And this is the organized side. So this is your dashboard. This is where all of your content lives, your content library. Um, this is where you're creating these campaigns. So this is where you're operating on the back end and everything gets stored and organized. And then lastly, the share side. So this is the ability to share that content. Aside from being able to download all of this content and use it for whatever purposes that you need, you're also able to create what we like to call story pages, which again was a reflection of some of the feedback that we got from some of the nonprofits that we work with, that they wanted a way to authentically share stories right from the collection tool to the share side of things, right? So this is a way to authenticate your content and making, making sure that your community knows these are the real stories from the real people of your community. And I'll show you what that looks like as well. So this is the storyteller side of the journey. So your community, however you're connecting with them, um, and I'll just mention too, as part of um, the process of us meeting with your organization, we love to talk about process and engagement and help you brainstorm ways to actually integrate these campaigns into your process so that it's actually successful and we're getting people to really do it and engage. 
But the way that it works is that you can share a QR code or a URL and they click on this or scan it and it takes them right to this secure web app, which is really designed to be an extension of your brand and in your website. So as you can see here, Memory Fox appears on very little. It would be, and I'll follow the United Way example for, um, for the sake of this presentation, but it would say the unitedway.memfox.io backslash and the name of the campaign, which is what you wanna collect stories around. In this example, we share the COVID-19 response campaign. And this was something that was run um, early on in COVID when they gave out money to over 150 local businesses in Western New York to support them during that time. And they shared a memory Fox link alongside that funding to get them to share what they did with that funding. So the name of the campaign was the COVID-19 response fund. This is the name of the link. They scan this QR code. And again, it takes them right to this secure page here. Your logo appears here, the name of the campaign, which is what you wanna collect stories around. And then this is the description, the why you're asking people to share. And all of this is completely customizable. And as you can see here, there's no download required. Um, there's no account set up, there's no password or login to remember. It really just takes them right to the secure web app. Um, and again, we've just tried to eliminate as many barriers to sharing as we possibly can. And because we tested this across so many demographics, age ranges and stuff like that, um, we've also made it super simple for people to actually do it no matter what demographic they fall in. So they hit start here and these next two screens are optional. So if you need to collect custom user data here, you can actually create all of these custom fields and make each one mandatory um, or not. So you can get name, email address, phone number, location, any of that stuff. You can customize, do as many or as little fields as you want. And they can hit next. And then this next screen is gonna be your consent language. So if you did need them to collect consent um, and you wanted to get their permission to use this content, you can customize the screen to be your legal waiver and they have to scroll through this box and check this to continue. So here is your storyteller prompt. So this is where you're guiding people to share really specifically what you want them to talk about. So what's really nice about this screen is that these are guided storyteller prompts and you can do as many here as you want or as little as you want, but it is set up like a progress tracker to kind of encourage people to share more than one piece of content. And it does check it off as they complete it. But really, if you just wanted to drive one question per campaign, you can do that, or you can do as many as you want. Um, lots of different ways to customize this, but you're actually prompting them to share the specific stories that reflect the campaign that you've set up. And here is, so once they, for example, wanna share a thank you message, they'll click on this button here and it takes them right to this sharing screen. So what's really great about this option is that it actually carries over the language right within this recording screen. So they don't forget what to talk about while they're talking to you. Um, and as you can see here, this is a description that you've created. So they can actually be directed by you, whether it be a marketing person, whoever sets up these campaigns, they're getting really specific about what you want them to talk about. So then in turn, you get a really good piece of content internally that really reflects your mission and gets them to talk about things the way that you need them to. Um, and also getting them to be able to do it on their own. You know, sometimes I feel like if you have someone in front of you recording, um, it can be a lot of pressure. So giving someone some space to do and take time and be mindful in how they're speaking, they can actually do this as many times as they want. They can re-record, they can record something on their phone and upload it. Because as you can see here on the bottom, you can prompt video, photo, a testimonial without their face. Maybe they don't feel comfortable having their face on it um, or they can upload something already on their phone. Maybe it's one piece of content um, or it's multiple pieces of content. It allows you to provide a channel for people to submit content through to you through this way. And then it's always attached to this prompt, which is really helpful because that's how it gets organized. And I'll show you what that looks like in a second. So this says 30 seconds or less. That's not an actual time limit. Um, Memory Fox also takes away the file sharing issues that you encounter. So a lot of times when you try to share um, a video that's too long, it'll send as like a Google Drive or it's just really tough to share in general. Sometimes it gets pixelated if you have a, one person in the group chat that has an Android. Um, so there's lots of different things that actually helps um, with the file sharing issues here. So whatever format that that's taken in, that's how it will appear in your content library. And like I mentioned, it can be 
five minutes, it can be 30 seconds, but I know that sometimes it's good to encourage people to be short and sweet, and you can describe that here. So once they've recorded, they go um, to their next screen here where you um, get this little confetti, letting them know that they have successfully sent in that piece of content and they can continue to go back and share more content. Or if they wanna review what they've sent in, they can do so in this top right-hand corner and, and review what they've sent in to you. And then this last button here is just a redirect. So if you wanted to take them to your website, Maybe you wanted to take them to a secure donation page and encourage them to make a donation to your organization. You really can customize this button to take them wherever you want because ultimately it's designed to kind of close the loop on the storyteller journey, right? Because we're taking them out of your website, out of your space, taking them to the secure web app that's an extension of your brand, your website where they can share with your organization. And then it closes the loop by taking them back to your website or wherever you want to take them. So that's really the storyteller side of the journey. So as everything is sent in, it all gets starting to be tagged and organized at the point of capture and lives in your content library. And I'll hop right into the back end here to show you what that looks like so you can actually see um, where the content lives. So this is our content library. Um, and I'll mention here too that, you know, because part of our subscription, you do get unlimited campaigns and unlimited storage. You can run as many campaigns at one time as you possibly can, but no matter what, the most recent piece of content is always going to populate here at the top. So you can kind of always keep a pulse on what's going on in your organization. And this is our variation to um, having to manually like, drag and drop things in the folders and organize things. What's really nice is that, you know, this all gets organized based on how you set up those campaigns. So it keeps things stored and organized and saves you time because then you don't have to sit here and organize and um, put all the stuff into files and stuff like that. So this actually keeps it all stored and organized here for you automatically. And what's great is that when you wanna search by say, for example, that United Way campaign that you saw, you choose United Way, and then it funnels down to just that content that you've collected for that campaign. So it's really easy for you to find the content that you're looking for when you need it. Um, you can search by prompt, this is a great one if say you've run campaigns year over year and you wanna see all the thank you message across all campaigns because you're doing a bunch of thank you posts on Instagram, you can search by thank you messages and it funnels down to just those thank you videos that you've captured. So lots of different ways to kind of keep things stored and organized. But so say for example, you wanted to take a look at this awesome picture here she sent in from big brothers and big sisters. This is that caption that's associated with it. So you never lose what that photo is about. This is where you can download that original piece of content and use it for whatever purposes you need internally. You can also create search tags. So this is our variation again of the folder. So say this picture comes in, oh, I wanna to remember to use this for my annual report. I'm gonna tag it as annual report. Oh, I also wanna to remember to use this for Instagram. Tag it for Instagram. You can update it. And then when it's time to make the annual report, you can search by that tag right in here. So it's a super easy way for you to tag things as they come in um, and keep it organized. Um, you own all of this content. That is super important to us from a privacy standpoint, obviously because we're engaging people to share really um, sentimental and sometimes intimate stories. It's really important for us to make sure it's clear that you know when they're sharing, they're sharing with you, the trusted organization. They're not posting it on Facebook for a reason, right? Because then they own the content. You own all this content and that's part of the process that they can share with you authentically. Um, and you can also add content to this library, you know, because you own all that content, because it's unlimited storage, you can actually use this as a CMS. So you can upload your content into, into here and actually use, the, use it as an opportunity to get organized, you know, put things and leave things in here. Um, but it all lives here in your content library in our storage cloud so you don't have to take up room on your computer or anything like that. So that's really how our content library works. Um, and the other part of it um, that I like to share is some visibility things. So if you are a chapter-based organization where say, for example, you have a headquarters or you have multiple locations, um, what's really great is that you can actually set up um, some visibility where you can set this up. So each of your chapters has their own account but you as headquarters can have visibility into all the different chapters, but only, for example, if this was the New Hampshire United Way, only they would be able to see their content, but you would be able to see everyone's. 
so what's great about those permissions is that it kind of allows you to keep a pulse on what's going on across all the chapters across the country. Maybe you want to help them create campaigns for branding purposes and continuity and how people are talking about your brand and how people are talking about your organization. So this really allows you to have visibility on what's going on from a content standpoint everywhere. And that's been really helpful for a lot of our chapter-based organizations that we work with when we're able to give them account access individually, but the headquarters and the main marketing person that oversees everything can then keep a pulse on what's going on everywhere. So what do we do with this content, right? So like I mentioned, you're able to download all that content directly from this page, but you're also able to create what we call story pages. Um, and as I mentioned, because we're constantly seeking the feedback from the nonprofits that we work with, this was based on some feedback, um, a feature that we developed um, that was based on some feedback that we got from the nonprofits that we work with. And it's called the story page. So this is your ability to either hand pick or automatically stream content directly into an independent web page. So as you can see here, this is a logo at the top and there's just a couple very simple design features here where you're able to actually create a grid of photos with the caption underneath. You can do tiles, which is more of that Pinterest style format. And someone who has access to this link, whoever you're sharing it with, can hit play. Hi, I'm Tina Stenhouse, co-chair of the 2021 United Way campaign. And they could pop that open and watch any of these stories directly out of this page. Um, and these are just shareable links. So these can be embedded into your website. These can be shared in a newsletter. Um, I really love seeing these after events. So if, for example, you host a 5K and you wanted to pop those QR codes up and ask people why they run or make it part of your registration process, you can have people engaged at events telling stories about why they're there, why they give, or they're just submitting pictures to you after the event because we all know how hard it is to actually get content after an event, getting people to share pictures and videos. So for those in-person events, you can get people to share content with you. And then after that fundraiser, you can send them a really cool story page that has all of the content you've collected um, from that event. So there's lots of different ways that you can use these story pages and they're super easy to build. And if you did wanna set it up so that it's streamlined content directly from a campaign into one of these segments, you can actually um, do that in the way that one of our customers did CT Humanities. And I love to show their example because they did such a great job with organizing this. Um, so for example, um, anytime a grant recipient in New Haven County receives grant funding from CT Humanities, they also receive a memory box link to kind of share what they did with that funding. So anytime somebody wants to go in and say, hey, what did those grantees do with the money in New Haven County? All they have to do is go to the website here, they click on New Haven County, and here's all the stories that were submitted by all the grant recipients um, in New Haven County. And of course, my name is Mila, so I'll pull over this pre-opened page here. So this is the New Haven County page, and it has all the real stories that were submitted by people in that community. And as you can see, they're not super produced videos, right? Because that's not really what we care about here. We care about the real stories that were collected by um, the organization, we care about the real work that's being done and where the money went and what they're doing with it. So these are all those real stories that were submitted by the community. And all you have to do on the back end is hit approve to the pieces of content that you really want to appear into your website. And that goes directly into your web, web page, which is a huge time saver because a lot of times when you're making updates to your web page, you have to engage your web developer, um, it's a whole process. So being able to streamline right from collection not only saves time, but it also allows you to really authenticate these stories so people know that they're real. And that's really the story pages. Um, and really the last piece of the sharing side of things is our newest integration with Canva. So we recently integrated with um, Canva because they give free accounts to nonprofits, which we love. And as you can see by my presentation, we also use Canva but they have such incredible design tools to make it super easy for you to do, make Instagram posts, annual reports, all different kinds of things. And on our website, you'll be able to find all kinds of templates that you can work from. But what's great is that you can search by memory box um, right within the Canva um, platform, and you can pull in all of your content directly from um, your campaigns into your Canva account. 
So say, for example, you wanted to pull this picture in that we showed you in the example, you pop it in right here. Um, if you want to use this one, you pull it over. So super easy to actually go right from streamlining that content through campaigns and getting them right into your presented material. And this is just one of their, of course, templates, many, many templates that they have. But we're very excited about that integration that we just released. Okay, so we've got collect, organize, share. And what we're doing with all that content, how do you build one of the campaigns and how easy is it really? So obviously we talk about this a lot in nonprofits. Um, you guys wear a lot of hats. So we want to make sure that this doesn't create more work, right? So what's great about Memory Fox is we actually set up the branding for you. So we set up the URL, we set up the logo. So anytime you want to create a new campaign, all you have to do is go in here and create it. And um, go into here and it's just a couple of steps to get campaigns up and running. So, and the first step, what you're going to do is you are going to name your campaign. So that's the first thing that you see, people will see. So in the example, when you saw the COVID-19 response fund, um, the name of the campaign, sorry, my is a little slow right now, but so the name of the campaign here is at the top. So this is the name of um, what you want to collect stories around the title. And this is the description, the why you're asking people to share that very first thing they're going to see on their phone or their desktop computer. Um, and I'm sorry if I forgot to mention that, but this does work. The campaigns do work on desktop computers um, and on mobile phones, tablets, all that stuff. Um, so this is the description. Um, this is the start and end dates. And these are your prompts. So these are where you're guiding people. Um, and this is, again, you can name the button here. This is the description that you saw in that example, the further direction that you're giving people. And these are all the types of content that you'll accept for each prompt because you can customize it for each one. And as you can see, you can do as many as you want here or as little, um, but this is where you can either add a new one or customize an old one. And then here are your settings. So this is where you're gonna, if you wanna collect that user data, you can add a new field or you can um, add an old one. And this is where you're going to put in your consent language. So this is where you're gonna copy and paste in um, that legal data that you need people to agree to um, in order to continue, or you can check it off if you don't wanna collect consent. Maybe it's just like an internal one where it's your staff using this to submit stories. So you can always check it off if you don't need to collect consent um, and you hit save. So once you've done those three steps, as soon as you go to your share page, as soon as you hit random code or custom code, your campaign is live. And as you can see here, it generates a URL and a QR code, and you can download that QR code right from here. And the custom code is essentially, you're just gonna type in here what you want to appear at the backslash. And as you can see, the unitedway.memfox.io, this is a customizable URL that's already been set up for you. So super easy to get these campaigns up and running, and you're able to share this with your community as soon as you've done that. Um, and the other thing I'll just touch on real quick is our customer support. So with the subscription of Memory Fox, you can always chat us internally if you have a question here, um, but you can also set up Zoom support with our team. So part of what we like to pride ourselves on at Memory Fox is we are curating a community, right? We wanna rise each other up and raise each other up all together by using what we've learned to create really successful campaigns. So it, maybe you're doing a campaign that's similar to what someone else did. And you want to ask them, what are some really good prompts that worked for them? You know, I'm having trouble figuring out what specifically I want to ask people. We always set up a time with our team to go over what's worked well with these campaigns. If you want to meet with us over engagement, um, trying to get people to actually do it, um, you know, you can always meet with us to kind of workshop, okay, what does that process look like for you? Where can we integrate these links? How have you seen this be successful in the past? So we try to never limit that side, side of support for you all. Um, yeah, and that's really how Memory Fox works. So those are all the pieces of the puzzle. And you know, I'm certainly happy to um, spend time with any of you. You know, we'd love to schedule times where we actually sit down and talk about your storytelling goals. Um, anytime I do a demo with someone, we always spend a little bit of time talking about your mission, 
and how we think that memory fox might really be able to help because ultimately that's what it comes down to right is can this be something that gets built into your process can a process that's better going to help you tell the story of your mission so part of what we can do if you set up a demo with us through pond we can walk through that um, and the last piece i'll just touch on really quickly is how our pricing and our subscriptions work so we do work on an equitable pricing structure. Uh, we try to mirror our pricing off of your most recent 990. So that'll be something that is custom per meeting. So we try to make it accessible for all size nonprofits. So yes, United Way is one size account, but ultimately we work with some really small nonprofits as well as some very large ones. So we try to be able to make it accessible to every size nonprofit. Um, and so we're always willing to work with you on that stuff. And that also brings into play our capacity building program. So if you are someone that, you know, can't afford anything because your budget is so tight, um, we have a capacity building program where you can apply and we can look into our um, list of funders to try to actually help you get Memory Fox funded. So we try to do everything we can to make sure you get access if it's something that you really think will help. Um, and then from a capacity building standpoint, on the other side of things, we also work with amazing organizations like Michigan Health, where they actually build capacity for their community and provide access to all their grants. They provide access to all the organizations in their community with Memory Fox so that they can actually build their storytelling efforts. Um, and United Way is just one, of, one example, but Michigan Health has done an incredible job recently of providing access to everyone in their community with Memory Fox. So we like to work on both sides of the of the paint there to try to help you guys get access to Memory Fox. So um, yeah, that's really how everything works. I know we um, slotted for 45 minutes, but I was able to get through it a little bit shorter, but I look forward to hopefully connecting with you all on your, your storytelling goals. And hopefully if there's any questions or you know anything else we wanna do with the remainder of our time, I'm happy to do that. But I think that's all for me today. Hey, Danielle, there was actually one question which came in from Jenny in the chat, and she said, this is awesome. If it's subscription-based, what happens to my content if I don't renew my subscription? Yeah, that's a great question. So um, subscriptions, by the way, are year-long subscriptions or 12 months, um, and that's really in an effort to give you time for all the campaigns to breathe, really let them um, sit with your community and give them time to submit content. Um, so within that subscription, if during that whole time you were to collect all this content and you didn't want to continue, you get a file with all that content and it's permanently deleted on our end. So again, that goes back to the privacy um, side of things where you own all that content. That is all of yours. Everything gets permanently deleted and you own everything and you'll receive all of that content. Great question. It's like when every time when you think you've covered everything, <laughs> sometimes little things fall through the, the cracks, but if there's any other questions, I'm certainly happy to answer them with the remainder of our time. Uh, looks like that's it for now. We just wanna encourage everyone who's interested in, in connecting with Danielle to go to the Memory Fox page on Pond, send her a message there. Um, obviously you can reach out to a member of the Pond team as well. And they just wanted to, to reemphasize the, the, the equity-based pricing is something that like deeply resonates with us and kind of a deep value mission alignment at Pond. And so, I want to congratulate you all on yeah. that thoughtful approach as well as everything else you're doing to increase access by your connections with funders. Just very, very cool. So. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thanks for making space for us to share this with your community. It's been awesome being a part of Camp Impact. So I look forward to hopefully connecting with people moving forward. Great. Thanks so much, Danielle. Have a great day. Right. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.